Welcome to today's 3D print. Time to play with sharks. That's right, we're gonna play with sharks. Someone posted on Twitter and said, can someone print this? I designed it, but I don't have a 3D printer. I looked at it and I was like, hell yeah, I can print that. <laughs> <laughs> That's too cool not to print. Someone made this. I will post his information and links down below. It is a little diorama. This one didn't stick very well. This is on the E12. It was giving me trouble. But a little diorama of the scene from Jaws with a Benji. So you got your barrels and your Jaws logo, and even says right here, going to need a bigger Benji. <laughs> if you remember that from the movie, he says, going to need a bigger boat. So, um, it's got a little shark. Well, big shark. It's three times the size of the Benji. <laughs> and you have your Benji, and you have your little ocean surface. And so I says, okay, let's make it bigger. There you go. That's full size on the a 12 the CR-10 would look a little bit better, but this really isn't that bad. When I, if I'm honest with myself, it really is not that bad a print. Um, I used a little glue stick to make sure it stayed down because this is really thin. So, we were going back and forth, and I asked the guy, I was like, can you split this into multiple parts for me? I'm like, what do you mean? I was like, well, split it up. I want the shark separate, I want the barrel separate, I want the black separate, I want the benchy separate, and I want the ocean separate. He's like, Okay, and he did it. He split it up into parts for me, and the result is spectacular. I hope he... Um, I asked him for his address because I want to send this to him, because it's very cool. I split it up, I thickened up the base to make it thicker, and you'll see why in a moment. And I printed this in four different colors. Because they were all separate parts, I just reloaded the printer between each print. So the ocean is Polyalchemy Night Sky. The barrels are daffodil yellow from Toner Plastic. The shark is Filament One um, Vertigo, um, Gal Vertigo Galaxy, Vertigo Gray. The boat is Carbon Fiber Fill PLA, and the plaques are Protopasta Candy Apple Red. And not only that, I took this ocean and I thickened it up. I made it seven millimeters thick, and then I printed it on its edge like this. Because this way, the the surface of the ocean is lost with the lack of um, X Y resolution on the Z layers. You get much better details if you print the part vertically, because then you take advantage of the X X Y's actual resolution instead of the Z's limited resolution. And here's the result. How cool is that? This says, going to need a bigger benchy. The little plaque on the end there says jaws, there's barrels, a shark, and the benchy. That is cool. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you. There we go. Look at that. I got so excited. I spent two days working on these prints because this just got me excited. It was just such a cool thing to look at. It was so much fun to do. People are always amazed when I come up with prints like this, and what they don't realize is that all I'm doing is printing this. The real magic is in the skill and art of the person who designed this, the person who put this together, because I can print this all day long, and I can make this look glorious coming off my printers, because I'm, I'm, I'm halfway decent at making my printers bend to my will. But without stuff like this to feed my printers, I'd have nothing. It takes the skill and art of people like this to design stuff like this that allows me to make these awesome prints. So thank you to all you artists who make the amazing, awesome stuff like this and make it available to us on the internet to print it out. Because that is just cool. You can see the details in the surface of the ocean because I printed it like this. The ocean itself, I print it like that on the Ender 2 because the Ender 2 does a great job at printing tall skinny things like that that is awesome I've already broken it twice because I, I made this hollow to save on the plastic because that's expensive plastic but take my advice put a little infill in there if you're going to use an elixir because I've already broken the ocean twice <laughs> 
but yeah that is awesome you will see this print again because when time allows I'm going to supersize this I'm gonna make one of these as big as I can possibly make it on my printers I'm going to try to get the s4 going again and I'm gonna print this shark 400 millimeters long diagonally maybe almost 450 millimeters long since I can do it diagonally and then I'll just print everything else in pieces until I can make this thing about this big because <laughs> this is just fun this is just a ton of fun so don't forget to go down below to the description to see the links to download this model from Thingiverse both the single piece for you just to try out and the multi-piece are available in that Thingiverse download for you to play with um, he said he's going to add a thicker one like this that I did so he's gonna thicken one up for you guys um, I just went in Tinkercad and added a base to it so I can make it thicker and uh, as far as going to need a bigger boat well here's a little sneak peek how's that is that bigger this one's got cannons <laughs> Jaws is dead <laughs> you guys have a great day